What is going on, guys? Take on my taco here. Back at it again with some new gameplay. So today we're playing Squad, and Squad has actually had an update on the 26th of May, which was yesterday. And with this update, there has been some pretty big improvements to the game, and some new stuff being added, and some bad shit that was in the game taken out. So definitely a good update and um, I'm pretty much here just to talk about it and showcase a little bit of what they've added so if you guys don't know squad is a tactical team based shooter and pretty much the game mode that I'm playing in this video is pretty much similar to a uh, domination where you're going up against the other team for a control point and the team that holds that control point for uh, the duration of the match for the most part will win the game so starting off this video uh, you guys can see I am playing well you can't see now but you will see later on in the video that I'm playing a medic role and uh, I'm able to revive uh, one of my friends one of my uh, squad mates here and a little bit later on and then I switch it up and play more of an offensive role and uh, attack and use a different weapon and actually I was actually able to pick up a uh, couple kills but back to this update so first off let's start off with the the big thing that's going the big the buzz that's going around this update is the Unreal Engine 4.11 which is being used in a new game called Paragon and if you guys don't know about that game check it out it's called Paragon. Yes, I'm, uh, and I'm picking you up right now. That game is using the same engine that Squad is, and my experience with Squad, as far as today and the new update, I had no problems. I was running it fine. Uh, you're talking in local the game was awesome. looking gorgeous, more gorgeous than ever, and I had no problems. So I'm I'm happy with this new engine that they they're using, and it's 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 really nice it makes the game look really really crisp and detailed so I can't complain on that part so next we're moving on to um, what they've yeah, added turning your, your gamma settings down. a new deployable emplaced heavy machine gun yes you heard me right they have added a M2 50 caliber browning heavy machine gun that you can use by setting up a bunker and I think this is gonna this is a this is gonna be a game changer, because having a 50 cal set up strategically, strategically, <laughs> and tactically in in the right positions can really uh can really help your squad out a lot. So I think it's gonna be amazing to use it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to try it out this game, but um, which actually brings me on to my next topic. Uh, this map that I'm playing on is new so if you guys don't know this map is called Gorodok Gorodok is an Eastern European inspired map with large expansive terrain and you can see here there's beautiful pine trees going all, all the way up go all the way up <laughs> and uh, rivers and it's a really really nice looking map and I enjoyed playing on it today yeah. but overall it's really nice so they've done a couple revamps to several different maps uh, one is called Samari Samari is more of a desert map it's literally now that they've done the revamp they have made it twice the size it used to be and there are twice as many entrable buildings so that's gonna be fun to have some close quarter combat and be able to uh, really use call outs and, and things to bring your team together and, and win games. Uh, they also did a revamp to Fool's Road Tunnels. They've added, they've added tunnels to Fool's Road, I'm sorry. And that's going to be really fun for close quarter combat. Fool's Road has now has a undergone drastic, no has, has undergone a drastic change 
A completely new militia fortress has been carved out of the mountain with crisscrossing tunnels serving to act as a means for defenders to further entrench themselves. Designed not only as a showcase of our new capabilities to show enclosed underground areas, but also to provide an intense close quarter battle experience for squad willing to venture into the depths of the fortress. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. They've added some effects. They added some foliage and water effects. So I think that that'll only make the game more realistic than it already is. Because if you guys don't know, Squad is very atmospheric. Uh, it's based on realism. They want to try to make the game as realistic to an actual war going on. So the sounds are really, really crisp. And they sound really realistic. The overall the feeling of the game is just it really puts you in that atmosphere of you know you're actually fighting for your life and you have to play really smart and use cover to your advantage and use call outs and and your team to you know fight against the other enemy and it's it's really nice to to have a game like this you know it's a lot i would say it's slower paced uh and when you know when you get into action it's like your adrenaline starts pumping and you know you just you gotta go with your gut and and I, and I, in that sense i think squad is 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 definitely unique because i don't know any other game that that really offers that experience anyways moving on to some other updates general performance imp improvements have been added to squad for amd cpus specifically um, there's been some server updates uh, and a lot of bug fixes and some changes to the UI, some new sounds, some new some new art in the game, um, some tweaks to the maps, and and other than that, uh, I'm not gonna bore you by reading literally every bullet. Um, because it would just take way too long and it will probably bore you guys to death but I'll put a link to the change log in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves and look at all the pictures of the new maps and what they've done and all and get all that information but if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like if you didn't drop a dislike comment down below uh, what videos I should do in the future and other than that I love you all. Take on my taco signing out.